It's that shadow of hers again. But Branya's isn't with her this time. It's only a fragmentum of... It feels like this echo is different from the others before. Intruders! Uh, did... did she just speak? You cannot approach. Not good. March, help the way! The Stellaron! Intruders! You go no further. Uh, are you sure this isn't the real her? Just in time. It may look like her, but the Fragmentum can only create four Bring her down! Time to say bye. Sayas Perkippi. Knowledge is the measure of all things. It reveals truth and falsehood. <laughs> Fail. Count. Do you have answers? Relax. Zero points. Next. The threads of destiny aren't chosen. Again, the ill tidings manifest. Beneath the silent waters lies an endless abyss! <laughs> Forward. Wherever they lead, it must be the end of the journey. I don't want to get to the end so soon. I want my journey to go on forever. This means that Branya is up ahead. And so is the fate of the overworld and the underworld. It's all in our hands. <sighs> Strange. I thought I'd feel nervous or afraid, but I don't. The only feeling I have is that none of this seems real. Not always. Sometimes it's a happier conclusion. The Express has traveled world after world. We are merely passing travelers. Witnesses to part of a grander story. We invariably avoid getting drawn into turbulence that can decide the fate of a world. But there are always times when we have no choice but to act. Or to put it another way, this is one heck of a first trailblazing expedition. You hit the jackpot. I was about to bore you all with my gloomy reflections. But on second thought, not today. Adventuring with you guys by my side has made me feel like no obstacle is too big. Right on! But you can say whatever you like. A good adventure shouldn't be full of rules and regulations. Helping those in need, befriending those worth counting on, and saving the world a few times along the way. Keep at it.
building here. The blizzard's so fierce. Now the power from the trailblaze path isn't enough to stop the cold. It means that we're getting closer to the Stellaroth and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. style of the buildings we saw in the city. Does it look like the palm of a huge hand to you? If Kakolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage... We have to save her. The underworld... No. The entire planet relies on her. The common will. No! I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya. World without poverty, without food, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. Seven hundred years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. And to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist, to cover our ears in of hearing the call. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you. The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will. Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. You wish. We're not going down before you do. Branya! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then, then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself. All of you. <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason for bringing you. <sighs> I want to witness your choice. I've told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different 
from the previous generations of guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so... tangible. I have agonized, long agonized over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, we always have a choice. As then, so now, choose, my daughter. I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and power is lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds light on the darkest recesses of the heart. Simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better. I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome, not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you... So, this is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. You know what? You were supposed to be the new world. Ground! It's shaking! What's happening? That sign! The fate of this city, of Bellabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world! You must break the old to build the new. The Supreme Guardian commands you! Rise, Engine of Creation! It's one of the Architect's Engine Machines! Watch out, all of you! Do you have ammo? 
answers. Think. The seal of ill fate descends. Better up. Good times never last. Time to say bye. this world just as it dispelled the antimatter legion 700 years ago so too will it wipe you from the face of this world uh, rules are made to be broken Go. Huh. Let's make it quick. About this. Let's go. <laughs> Humanity, so weak and foolish, always overestimating their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair. Is this... 
the universe. But I was fighting Kokolia. Why am I here? The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jepard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. Reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues. I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. Their work is illegal. Why, Kakalia? Why have you grown so cold? Serval Landau, you were my most cherished friend. that we withdraw every guard. The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. 
You will understand when the time is right.
breathing sensation. Remember it. I'm asking the question. Relax. Again, still tiny manifest. Time for the old world to collapse. Trailblazing expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll steal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? Hmm. Huh. The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. This victory 
is only the beginning for Bellabog. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. Can I really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Zila. I... I don't know how to explain it. But I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie. But it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? Mother died to preserve Bellaba. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power, a, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Thank you for understanding. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. The whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian. And discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me. Till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Zila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... administrative district. I need to tell Jabard and... serve... Huh? Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you! Help me out here! Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. Let's settle then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun... No. For Bellobox's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. Uh, you drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. 
He probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 